here we are. It's a gorgeous autumn day in Maine. Hanging out with my dog. Apparently doesn't know how to wear his cone. Whatever, we'll take care of that in a second. Ah, the whole point of this is we are going to see how big of a difference disconnecting the front sway bar on a 19 and up Ford Ranger makes as, uh, you know, as far as articulation goes. Everybody's always telling you with an IFS vehicle, you know, you know, you know Bob, disconnect that front sway bar, let the whole bunch of articulate down there. Well, you know, we'll see how big of a difference it makes, huh? The front sway bar on these trucks isn't very thick. There's a lot of people that don't think disconnecting it will make a whole hell of a lot of a difference. But we're going to find out. So here's the truck. It's nothing super special. It's just a 2021 Ford Ranger XL STX package. Um, had the dealer install a two and a half inch rough country leveling kit as part of the deal on the truck i installed some bigger wheels and tires obviously so everybody knows that i'm super manly um taking it off road a couple times nothing too serious uh you know figured this would be a good video to make i built just like i would this super sketchy wood ramp the tip of it is 20 inches tall, so that should be more than enough to max this Ranger out. Um, front ends of these trucks only have about 6 or 7 inches of suspension travel, so should be lifting that tire long before I get to the top. here we are all flexed out uh, for the purposes of this test I left the rear end open um, and just decided to just jack on the brakes and call it good when that back tire started to spin which I'm sure you saw um, haven't gotten a measurement on anything yet to see how high the bottom of that that tire is off the ground but not bad so for the measurement parts of this, I decided to use the KISS method. Um, and what I did was I just found a super straight stick of science, is what I'm going to call it, and the level. Okay, I made sure that stick was nice and level on the back of the tire. Came over here. Just made a mark. Um, for anybody curious underneath about the center of the hub it's almost 15 inches you could drive over without uh, picking that back tire up now let's get that link undone try it again see the difference All right, so now that we got that pesky good time ruining sway bar end link undone, we'll see what this truck can do. There she is. You can already tell that, you know, a big difference for sure. You can tell just by looking at where that mark is that we're more than a couple inches farther forward than, than where we made that. Let's take some more measurements and see how big of a difference it made. 
All right, so measurements have been taken. Um, I'd say that our naysayers have been sufficiently disproven in their claims. Um, if we put a tape on this second mark I made here, see we'll get almost uh, about four and an eighth inches further up this ramp with that sway bar end link disconnected than, uh, than before. And then if we're going to take this measurement from the from the center of the tire to the ground again. Almost 16 and a half inches. So another inch and a half of of wheel travel before that back tire would want to come up and yeah, another over four inches further up this ramp for the time that it takes to disconnect one or you know, take both of them just right out of there. If you're going out wheeling for the day, I'd say it'd be worth it. All right, so, hey, thanks for tuning in. I've uh, been meaning to do this for a couple weeks just to see how big of a difference there was. Uh, the last time I went wheeling, had a couple three-wheel action moments, or I was wondering, like, oh, you know, Maybe I should have taken off one of them sway bar end links, but at least now, I guess, whenever I go back out to those trails, um, I'm going to do this in the parking lot before we head out, and then those sections that I know, you know, this, this probably would have been beneficial, and see just how beneficial it was. Um, fix the dog's cone. He's all right. Um, yeah. Hey, have a good one.